Hello and welcome to another 10 rows a day tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to keep yarns from tangling when you are working from one ball of yarn, when you're working from two or three balls of yarn and when you're working from multiple bobbins. Let's get to it. If you're knitting with slippery yarn like this bamboo I have over here, uh, then the yarn can tangle even if you don't touch it. See, the ball is so loose, the yarn is so slippery, before you know it, you will get all sorts of tangles. In this situation, your best friend is a Ziploc bag. Just take any Ziploc bag, place the ball of yarn in there, with all the tangles and stuff, and then lock the bag, most of it, but leave a little opening on the side or at the center, doesn't really matter. Leave a little opening where the yarn could easily uh, be fed to your knitting, like this. And that's it. Problem solved. Your yarn won't tangle and if you have a white yarn, like I do right here, then the Ziploc bag will also protect it from dust and dirt. If you plan to use two strands of the same yarn, I highly recommend to do it from the single ball. So you take the tail that's outside of the ball and then you insert your fingers inside and grab uh, any strand that you feel there, like the innest, the one that is at the most center, and take the other tail. In this situation, the only tangle that, tangling that would happen will be if you occasionally grab, you know, I've got quite lucky here that my tail is easy to find, but if you get like a whole bunch of yarn out of the center, then for some time you will have that bunch of yarn sitting here. So what you do in this case, you align two tails and then unwind the yarn that comes from outside to align these uh, two uh, strands and untangle the, the yarn that came from inside. So for a few rows you would have double stranded yarn just sitting there next to the ball like this. It could tangle too but just keep an eye on it. But once you are done with that yarn then the yarn will feed smoothly from both sides, oh see I have some dust here, uh, from both uh, ends of the ball and you won't have problem with tangling at all. When you want to use two strands of different colors, that's a totally different story because you can't do it from a single ball, you have to have two balls. In this case, what helps to prevent tangling is keeping the balls separate. Divide and conquer. That's the strategy we use to keep the balls from tangling. So usually what I do, I would put one of the balls on my left side and the other ball on my right side while I'm knitting. Then I knit and knit and knit and knit, but because I'm turning my work like this, then the yarns still twist. So what to do with that? Uh, it's easy, you just untwist it. And the easiest way to do it is to stop after, I don't know, every 10-15 rows or so, then push the stitches away from the tip of the needle so they don't unravel, then leave the knitting so it basically kind of hangs on the yarn, then take those two strands and pull them apart and see what happens? It un untwists all by itself, quite easy and um, and actually fun, right? So once you you've done that, continue knitting another 10-15 rows or so. Stop, uh, pull the yarns, untwist the, the untwist them so they won't tangle, and that's it. The most complicated scenario would be if you're dealing with those little guys, the little bobbins. Usually it happens when you're doing intarsia or some other complicated color work. Uh, what you do, you will uh, cut a piece of yarn, then wind it on the bobbin or uh, anything else, a piece of carpet, it will also work. But when you attach it to your work, all those little bobbins, they will just have their fun and they will keep you uh, almost constantly untangling them. 
To prevent that, there is a simple solution. It's called a drinking straw, just like this one. I'm using a thicker one, the one that's intended for smoothies. I think it works better than the regular one because it's easier to thread the yarn through it. But if you don't have that one, you have a regular drinking straw that will do well um, as well. And uh, the only thing you need to do is probably to uh, use a needle to thread the yarn through it because otherwise it will be a bit complicated, but it depends on the yarn as well. So the, uh, the idea is, cut a piece of the drinking straw about 2 inches 5 centimeters. So if you don't have a ruler, just measure your thumb. That should probably do. About this much. Then cut it with the simple scissors. And then once you have a piece of yarn already on the bobbin, you simply thread the tail through that drinking straw. If yours doesn't come easily, then like I said, use a wool needle or regular needle or whatever you have. So that's what you have. Once you have all your bobbins set up like this, then attach them to your knitting and use them in your project. When you have a number of them, it will look about like this. See, and the straw, the piece of straw, will keep the yarns, the bobbins from tangling. Because it's the yarn that tangles, the plastic doesn't, right? So what happens, if they are too close together, they will still twist a bit, like this. But not really a lot, like a couple twists is not a big deal. And keep the tails quite small, so the space between the the plastic and the needle is not too big, otherwise it will tangle more. And when you do that, your color work knitting would be much more pleasant. And that's it! That's how you keep yarns from tangling, and now nothing can keep you from playing with different colors and textures in your knitting. Thank you for watching the video, and stay tuned! Mm -hmm.